Hi, I'm John. I'm a bus driver. Years ago in my younger days when I was a child, I heard the gospel story. I sang the songs in Sunday school, but it wasn't until I was a fourth grader in VBS, which is Vacation Bible School, and at the end of those programs, they would have an invitation given. Anyone that wanted to accept Christ, anyone that wanted to talk about Jesus and talk about Jesus in their life, for them, there was an invitation. And I can remember going through that meeting with all of my friends from Vacation Bible School, all these boys, and I was the only one. I was the only one. I went up, I knelt down, I asked for prayer, the preacher prayed, I accepted Christ, I felt it in my heart, I was renewed. I wasn't a wicked boy, but after that experience, I knew that I had Jesus in my heart. When I opened my eyes, when I got up, all my friends were there with me. And I don't know, I really don't know to this day how many of those boys are continuing to follow Jesus, but I am. My name is um, Bob and um, my mom um, had surgery a couple of years ago and um, I gave my life to um, Jesus Christ. I'm Haley. I accepted Christ in my heart when I was in sixth grade. My stepmother did it with me and um, when I lived with them. And then I moved to live with my mom and I kind of lost my touch with God. And I did, I made some poor choices and uh, kind of lost my way. I was mad at myself and at my parents. And at God for giving me the life that I had. And I thought I deserved better. I was so angry. Um, I tried to commit suicide because I thought it would be better for everybody else. But then, right before I did it, I heard God saying, Hey, this is not what you deserve. And this is not what I had planned for you. I remember I called my dad and my stepmom and I told them how I felt. And I remember they told me they'd pray for me and that everything would be better. And when I came back this year to live with them, I got baptized. And I was really happy. <laughs> and I'm really happy now that I'm following God the way that I want to. And He showed me that He does love me and He does care. My name is Jenny and um, I grew up in a Christian home. I uh, never really accepted Jesus. Um, the night that I um, got saved was a little bizarre. Um, I had a nightmare that Satan took my youngest daughter to hell and I went to hell to get her back. And um, when I met him, he had her hanging over a cliff. And I went up to him and said, if you think you're evil, you haven't seen anything yet, you have my daughter. And in that moment, he turned and smiled. And the next thing I know, I woke up and I have never in my life felt evil like that in my entire life. It was the scariest thing. I couldn't catch my breath. It scared me. I didn't know what to do. I called my mom in the middle of the night crying. I didn't know what happened. She said, you need to say that. You need to ask Jesus into your heart. And when I asked Jesus into my heart that time, I got it. I knew at that moment I was a Christian. Before, I think I was going with the emotions of being in church and that's the thing to do. But in that moment, I knew that there was something very evil out there and I didn't want no part of it. I wanted to be around God's love. And that's the moment I decided to accept Jesus into my heart. My name is Elizabeth. 
Um, I grew up in a Christian home where my father was a pastor for many, many years. Um, I accepted Christ as a child and um, was in church, but after I was out on my own, I lived a very carnal lifestyle. Um, in 2004, I went to the doctor for something totally different. I thought I had pulled a muscle in my side and the doctor didn't like what he heard. And so I went to the hospital for some testing and there I was admitted um, for two blood clots in my lung. I had several weeks before this been hearing the Lord say, come on, you need to get back to me. We need to spend some time. And I did not do that. And when I sat down on the hospital bed, it was as if I could hear the Lord clearly say, I told you to sit down and listen to me. And if you will not sit down and listen to me, I will sit you down and you will listen to me. I should have been in the hospital for two to three days and I was there for 10 days because the Lord had great things to say to me. It was at that time that I realized I needed to embrace Christ for myself and not live on the shirt tails of my parents' faith any longer. And it was at that time where I knowingly and fully and completely committed my life to Christ by asking forgiveness for my sins, by understanding and believing that He died on the cross and rose again for me, and committed my life to Him, asking Him to come into my heart and life.